Hey guys, welcome back to Around the Bend. Today, there has been lots of progress. So, not only do we have tables now, I've also got a new phone to record videos on. So this should be in 4K at 60 frames per second. Hopefully it will also sound better. And today, I've got a nice Caledonian Sleeper Class 92 from Hornby. Now, this looks very nice. Lots of roof detail. What's on the back of the box? Root availability 7. Some drawings from 1995. There's a brief history, just pause if you want to read. That should be it. This has come from Rails of Sheffield. I paid £69.50 for it. It was pre owned, but in new condition, like basically almost never used, you can not really tell. Here it is out of the box then. Got the uh, instructions, see what they say. Class 92, Coco, yeah. Diesel electric locomotive. Now this is just an electric locomotive, so I don't know what Hornby's thinking. Uh, yep, DCC ready. Tells you how to get the body off for DCC fitting and for oiling. I don't know why they show a Bobo here and not a Coco. Oh, they use clips as well instead of screws. Some locomotives operate with a working pantograph. Now I know that this definitely doesn't, so I really do not know why they put that on there. Anyway, let's get it out of the block of ice packaging. Take the sleeves off. Open this up. There's no detail pack with this one. Just a bit of plastic film. And here's the locomotive itself. It's very nice. I really like this livery with the Caledonian sleeper blue. It does have working lights. I have already fitted this with DCC. It does have NEM pockets as well. It's got a really good amount of roof detail. The pantographs go up as well, they're nice and spring-loaded. And they just sort of hook around that little piece of plastic on each side. The ends are painted in the nice yellow. This is 92023. The side is the same. I do believe in real life that these shared a body with the class 60s. I am pretty sure on that, but I'm not going to promise, yeah. Not too much buff bean detail, but oh well. Horns are just sort of moulded on there. But I do think it looks really nice. Let's get it onto the track and see how it performs. Here we are down on the track then. Let's see if it actually works. Mm. A little bit jittery, let's just give it a bit of a nudge. Yep, there we go. It's a bit jittery at the slower speeds, but when it sort of gets past the threshold, it sort of then is quite smooth. You can just about see the lights working on the end. Let's see how good of a crawl it can do then. I don't think it's going to do that well, but... See, it's, it's quite sort of jittery. Mm, it's not the greatest performance. Let's try in the other direction. Yeah, no, it's not the best at crawling. 
Let's hook it up to some coaches then and get it running around the layout. Just give it a quick nudge. So what coaches have I got for it today then? I've got the only coaches I have got, which is uh, Crimson Cream, 2MS, Maroons, and some Blood and Custard. Let's catch some shots of it running around the layout then. Now would be a brilliant time to give you all a shot of the new layout. So I have this little area in the middle with my controllers and my phone stand. Got the turntable over there with an engine shed and some other sidings. Got the main lines, got some houses, got a tunnel. There's the class 92. I've got some work in progress corners because the cardboard is there as the tables are very um, uneven. Got some homemade scenery, the signal box, is the station where you have the two lines that come off into the big station. These two lines are terminating lines and that is the main line in the footbridge. The scenery again, another curve, crossover, uh, more cardboarded up curves, and then back around again. Let's get some more shots of the train. Yeah, this is a really nice train and it works really well at the high speeds. I would say that this loco would be better off in the railroad range rather than the mainline range. But I would still give this loco a really good rating of 8 stars. That would be it for today then guys. I'll see you next time, and enjoy. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment.